Mm-hmm. Are you guys uh, down with the clown? <laughs> are, are we drawing ICP today? We're drawing, uh, we're going to draw it. Uh, oh, so we are drawing ICP. No, it. It? Oh, Mr. you mean like Stephen King it? Mr. Pennywise. Oh my God, guys, I had so much material on the English pronoun. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Wait a minute. So are we just drawing the clown from it? Yeah, draw the spooky boy. There's only like one there's like two different versions of it. So am I drawing one and you drawing the other? You can draw whatever you want. Can draw, we draw anything from Draw a scary it? clown. Can we draw any character that Tim Curry has portrayed? Oh yeah. Can I just go off and do that? No, draw draw a scary clown. Draw a scary your, clown? Can I, I draw I C P you should draw Frankenfurter. Show me that scary clown. Can I draw anything? Or Frankenfurter's monster. From the original TV miniseries, It. Sure. Can I draw Richard Mazur's head in a refrigerator as a birthday cake? I think, I think it is a near moral necessity that you do that now. That is the most unwanted <laughs> sketch on YouTube. You don't, that's not what people are asking you for all the time at shows. So, are you drawing new Pennywise? Yeah, I'm gonna draw sort of my version of that. I've new, got, I've got a whole Pennywise. sketchbook just dedicated to Richard to, Mazur's head. To, you don't to even Richard know who that is. To Richard Mazur's head. You don't and even know. I who. remember the miniseries. So you said you didn't know anything about it. I don't. I just know what I saw when I was what was that nine or something? <laughs> I can't have been that young, but so. I know that there's a clown that his name is Pennywise and that he lives in the sewers. He does and he likes live pizza. In the sewers. But he's not really a clown. Okay, you see you've already lost me. He's a he's a cosmic demon being, right? Her. Uh, spoilers. Wait, so why does he look like a clown? Because that's what's kids that's what's scary to kids. Kids hate clowns. Does does anybody like clowns? I feel like I feel like people like clowns. <sighs> No. Or have like clowns? Here's the thing. I don't believe anyone that says that they're scared of clowns. Yeah. I Wait. never have, and I never will. Uh, I was scared of clowns. You weren't. Yes. <laughs> what did he just say, Sean? What I was I literally <laughs> terrified by clowns. You were not. Yes. Anybody in costume, I was terrified of. That's what you were scared of. You weren't scared of clowns in particular. You well, guess what? Of, or I was costume. scared of Spider-Man. You were scared of people that disguise what they look like. Yeah. And yeah. guess who was in it? A fucking clown. Yeah, but people make the big deal out of clowns in particular being scary. Yeah, because they are. They're no, not scary. They're not, they are not, they are not scary. They're, their scariness does not derive from their clownness. What the... are you talking about? <laughs> clowns aren't scary. That, they that are is their... bringers of, of joy and happiness. No, their goal in life is to scare you. No, they're not. Their goal in life no. is to make you laugh. They don't know how to be funny. <laughs> well, dude, that, well, that describes everybody in this room, and yet... People aren't subscribing to this <laughs> video. Clowns to be are there to horrifying. scare children. It's clowns are n- <laughs> that, that is not why clowns were created. Yeah. They were not created to scare children. Mm-hmm. Look it up. All right, we're, we're getting into the history of clowns here. Okay, see, the, now we found clowns the, have a varied tradition with significant variations in costume and performance. Guess the most what? recognizable modern clown character is the Augusta. Or red clown type with outlandish costumes featuring distinctive makeup, colorful wigs, exaggerated footwear, and colorful clothing. And they hate children. <laughs> they no. Their entertainment style is generally designed to entertain large audiences. Oh. Never. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying in recent years, somebody's uh, uh, postmodern joke about how clowns look creepy... Okay, subject A, the Joker. Well, clown. He is a clown. He is a clown. Not not in any way. The clown identifiable is not with what clown makes behavior. Him scary though. <laughs> not any. He does clown shit. 
No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He, 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 does. he squirts. He squirts he acid out of a stuff. flower. That's not a clown thing. He, I mean, he's the clown prince of crime. He's he, it. It's his motif. That doesn't even make sense. But that. Well, I didn't make it up. But it is not what makes him uh, scary. The fact that he shoots you in the head is what makes him scary. Yeah, and clowns yeah. will do that. Clowns don't <laughs> do that. Um, wait a minute. Hey, Sean, when's the last time you saw a clown? Last night. <laughs> <laughs> the fear of clowns, particularly circus clowns, has become known by the term colorphobia. Wait a minute. Particularly circus clowns. Holy crap. What other kinds of clowns are there? There's a group of evil clown in costume at PDC 2008 party at Universal Studios. There's devil clowns. There's monster clowns. There's alien clowns. Okay, subject two. Uh, those those clowns from outer space. Killer clowns? Killer crown, clowns. Yeah. Yeah, they're there. The evil clown is a subversion of the traditional comic clown character uh-huh. in which a playful trope is instead rendered as disturbing through the use of R- horror elements and dark yes. humor. The, yes. The modern archetype of the evil clown was popularized by Stephen King's 1986 novel, It. Oh, so it's his fault. Yeah. The character can be seen as playing off the sense of an ease felt by sufferers of colorphobia, the fear of clowns. I'm going to do both. <laughs> anyway, screw them clowns. Oh, the, the evil clown appeared infrequently during the 19th centuries in such works as Edgar Allan Poe's Hot Frog. Hot Frog! Hot Frog! Hot Frog coming at you. Don't you ready for the Hot Frog? You want that Hot Frog? Hot Frog! I think it's weird that you guys are pro-clown. Uh, here's the thing. I'm not pro-clown. I, like I have a very... I, I, I am for I, pluralistic clown representation. I, I find that clowns are annoying. They have never been scary to me. Uh, in It, they were scary. Hmm. But have you seen It lately? The first It? The TV miniseries. Yes. It's pretty... Uh, Goofy? Yes, but it still has moments that are kind of scary. Uh, like Richard Mazur's head in a refrigerator? Just like clowns. As a, as a for example? It's got clowns. I'm not going to do a good likeness of Richard Mazur. I don't think... Mm. I mean... I'm pretty sure I'm the only person that's ever done a live sketch on YouTube of Richard Mazur. <laughs> Is he dead? Look up Richard Mazur. Richard Mazur, the American actor who's appeared in Stuff, Stuff, Stuff. Returned to Broadway in 2004. Born. Yeah, no, I think he's he's still... He's still doing it. Known for the thing, risky business, and see no man. What? Wait, why are you drawing him when you could be drawing a scary clown? Because. Why wouldn't I? Hmm. Have you ever seen Richard Mazur's scary clown movie? It? Don't worry, I'm drawing your stupid clown. You don't gotta. You can draw whatever you want. You told me to draw clowns. I'm oh. drawing a clown. <laughs> Cultural click. Mark Derry has theorized the postmodern archetype of the evil clown in Cotton Candy Autopsy, deconstructing psycho killer clowns. Was it a birthday cake that he was on? He was just on a plate in the refrigerator. Uh, I don't remember. You've read it, right? I have. Well, Josh has never read any Stephen King at all, right? No, uh, just um, what's it called? Uh, the uh, Dark Tower. 
You've read the one that's simultaneously the most Stephen King and least Stephen King. That's weird to say. I hear that. How can that be? Um, just is. So why are we drawing this? The movie comes out this weekend. Oh, why do I keep thinking that movie's already been out? Because the first part is. Was it was it a two parter? Was it a real cliffhanger at the end of? Uh, no. It, they 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 broke up the story. The story they they sort of did that in the miniseries too. <laughs> No, oh, I see what happened. Uh, no, it, it wasn't by a birthday cake, but there was a stack of like cool whip containers next to it that kind of looks like a layered cake. So he's just a head on a plate. He's just he, he's not even on a plate. He's just a head. Oh, hold on a second. I will. Are Richard Mazur's eyes brown or blue? Uh, brown. These these are the questions that people want to know. They don't really care about it or Stephen King. Most people I find are just big Richard. Would you get your fucking stupid thing oh, off sorry, my sorry, screen? Sorry, sorry. I'm kind of surprised, Josh, that you haven't read more Stephen King. Here's the thing: I'm a really slow reader, and Stephen I King's do. books are really big. <laughs> So, a lot of them are. Like, if I decide to read a Stephen King book, that is literally like a year of my life. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize you were that slow. I'm super slow. He's real slow. I read like six Stephen King books a couple years ago over the course of like a summer. I had the Summer of King. Would you get off my screen? Why is it? I don't know. even know why it's doing that. Well, I'm just... Get rid of the thing here. Because I had never read them when I was a kid because I was really scared of everything. And like clowns. Um, yeah, I was terrified of clowns. I used to have nightmares about Attack of the Killer Clown movie. <laughs> <laughs> that combined my two worst fears, which was aliens and clowns. What am I doing here? Except... This is going to show up on my screen. Yeah. So it's the Richard Mazur thing you were looking for. I really hated aliens. Anybody else alien feared? Aliens? Yeah. Like aliens in general? Or yeah. Just, uh, I have never been scared of aliens. So you're trying to act like you were not scared of anything? That's No. I was terrified of my grandfather clock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I'm scared of nothing, <laughs> but like n- normal Noted for stuff. A future episode. <laughs> what? Like normal things, though. Uh, I was scared of vampires. I had a big vampire thing. See, that's stupid. <laughs> Who's scared of a vampire? I can't open it. Who was it who said the most logical thing about vampires? Uh. They're like, I was never scared of vampires because they were always in Europe. They're not going to get me in America. All right. Let's see what this is that you sent me. That's a that's a whale cake. Oh, my. Well, look at the other one. <laughs> I got confused. Oh, that's way better. Oh, that's so much better. I'm just going to change. Changing them. Hmm. I don't know if I'm liking my clown that much. Well, you can redo it. Cause... Would you get off my screen? What? You I swear saying, to God, it's if not you don't even, thing off my screen. I cannot even see your screen. I have minimized it, your screen. Hmm. I might try over. Let me see. I think I have time. I'm, I'm busy getting the delicate features of Richard Major's head. <laughs> This is what the kids want to see today. Richard Mazer. You just was, got so, w- Did you do that much of your Mazer by memory? Yeah. Wow. What's your favorite Richard Mazer? 
my favorite Richard Mazur, uh, well, it's the one where he plays the dad in that thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much all, all he ever them? does is play somebody's dad. Hmm. Oh, Richard Mazur. Okay. All right, we're going to fix this. Fix the Mazer face. Mazer Mazer face. Mazer face. Mazer face. It's the Mazer face. What's Richard Mazer's most famous role? Uh, You'd know him if you saw him. He played the... He was Clark and Thing. He uh he was in he was in risky business. Yeah, he was the dad. Dad, <laughs> another dad. He's played lots of dads on TV. He's nominated for a primetime Emmy. That guy. <sighs> for it's outstanding supporting actor in a limited series or special, The Burning Bed. 1984's The Burning Bed. For playing, I'm going to guess the dad. That's my dad. I think he plays the dad in Encino Man, too. He was like Farrah Fawcett's Fawcett's wife, or husband, right? Oh, really? He was the bad guy in The Burning Bed? Wasn't he? I guess. I don't know. That's, That's gross to think about. That's about domestic violence, The Burning Bed. Oh, no, Paula Matt was... Oh, uh, Paula Matt. Oh, yeah. that guy. <laughs> totally seems like that kind of guy. That was the thing uh, about it and this particular scene is that I remember it being terrifying. And then I saw it recently, and it's the goofiest thing... Because he sings. The head, like, sings. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mike. What? Uh, Richard Mazur was nominated for Outstanding Directorial Achievement in Dramatic Shows for his ABC After School special titled What? Are you serious? Yeah. He was in It and What? No. <laughs> 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 My God, that was a that knee joke. Did not go where I thought it was about to go. Uh, after school special, mm. I don't know. Torn between two fathers. My two dads? He played both of them. What? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I don't think he was even in it. I think he was a director. Okay, wait. Back to childhood crap. Um, Josh, were you scared of stuff when you were a kid? Oh, heck yeah. What were you scared of? Um, he was scared of this strange kid he'd never even met in Michigan. I was, I was terrified by Poltergeist. The movie Poltergeist? Yeah. And not the clown in Poltergeist either, which even There's a clown in Poltergeist. Yeah, but it's a, that's a toy. That's not, doesn't count as a clown. It counts as a scary toy. It wasn't even scary. That was the least scary thing about that movie. That, that that toy. No. (laughs) It tried to strangle him. I would say that toys are way scarier than clowns. The thing that scared me, and I don't even know what was that scared me. It was just I was unsettled by Poltergeist. And then because like every room has a closet, right? Like it was always there when I was trying to go to bed. And you couldn't even like, if I was going to turn on a light, just because I was scared of the dark and wanted to sleep, it would be the closet light. And then my closet would glow like the closet in Poltergeist. And it was a what? whole problem. Your closet Probably would... should have just gotten a nightlight or something. Oh, I see. Your closet would glow. All right. I'm done. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your maser memory is something. May I, I do have great Mazer memory. I finally got. I my think cl- he's the dad in License to Drive. As <gasps> oh, well. that sounds right. I know my License to Drive. <laughs> now been, that's a movie I know. Mazer's been nominated twice for Worst Supporting Actor. What? 
for Hanover Street and uh, 1979's Scavenger Hunt. Uh, wait a minute. We're supporting. Wait, we're supporting actor in what? I mean, what was the awards? Oh, the Stinkers. The Sinkers? Stinkers. The Stinker Awards? Like a little stinker. Why, you stinker? I you don't think little that's stinker. a real thing. It was in 1979. Hanover Street is not bad. It's boring. It doesn't it doesn't have a lot of support though. Well, it's a it's like a two-person movie. It's like Harrison mm-hmm. Ford and some other lady. He plays like and, an American and Richard Mazur. What? And Richard Mazur. And Richard Mazur is like the friend, I think. Is if he though? This is the movie I remember. He's a very unsupportive friend. Uh, hmm. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> what was the other movie got bad uh, uh, press for? Uh, Scavenger Hunt. Scavenger Hunt. I don't remember that one. I'm That's sure. not real. Because he was a bad supporting actor. Why are you so anti Mazer now? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying what the internet's telling me, man. I do like the internet that I turn this lie. into a Mazer show instead of it's a, the Mazer cast. I, you know what I think? What you guys are really scared of clowns, and that's why you're avoiding <laughs> being down with a clown. Uh, you the, guys are scared. So did you? So you guys saw the first uh, miniseries, and you guys uh, were scared. You did read the book, and you thought the book was very scary. Yes. Uh, and the book is scary. Very different than the both adaptations. Mm. Well, it's mostly it. It just it has so much information in it that cannot be completely done in the movies right like it's very cosmic right elements of it are the whole thing isn't though and you realize how much like it actually permeates the stephen king universe yeah whoa does it is this is is it like huh yeah it is in he is in uh dark tower what yeah, he's tied into Dark Tower at some points. Is he also the the stand? Uh, Pennywise clown. Yeah, I think. I mean, he's a demon essentially, so he kind of ties in. Hmm. He's just hanging out. So, uh, that be you? You uh. You guys both saw it. Were you scared when you saw it? Yes. The miniseries? Yeah. No. You weren't scared when you saw it originally? No. How old were you? I don't know. When did it come out? Uh, 1980. Would have been mid to late 80s. Yeah, 80. Definitely scared. I was just scared of the ads. I don't even think I actually saw the ship movie. And I was terrified. I mean, I remember talking about it with, like, kids on my block when we were, like, waiting for the school bus. and we were. No, you did not. Yeah, we thought it was funny. Really? You guys all sound too cool for fucking school. <sighs> I'm not trying to be too cool. I'm just saying I I'm never not thought clowns. clowns were scary. That was 1990. Was it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, shit. I was like 17 years old. It shouldn't have been scary to me. Yeah, I was I was 13. <laughs> I was too cool for school. I was 10. <laughs> you see, this is... This makes sense. Wow. Why was I so scared of that? I found it to be genuinely creepy. Hmm. I'm going to say that Richard Mazur has been in at least <laughs> one episode of Law and Order. Oh, he's definitely. And been, I'm gonna bet maybe three. He's been on every TV show you've ever seen. <laughs> that is not, that is not even 
uh, just me saying something. No. That is a factual and statement. Not, and like not on Law and Order as a recurring character, right? Like he's on as one character and then they bring him back in four years. Did you just know Oh yeah, definitely. Forgot. Yeah. He's got he's got a forgettable face to everybody who doesn't have major I, memory. Well not for me. Yeah. yeah. I know the Mazer. Major Mazer. Be a Mazer. There ought to be a website that just like were they looks on like Santa Claus now. Oh, that's even scarier for you, right? Well, we know no, your feelings I'm not about scared Santa of Santa Claus. I just hate him. <laughs> Why is IMDb advertising Downton Abbey to me? Because there's a movie coming out. Is there? Are we not over this? Yeah, there's going to be a really boring movie. All right, <sighs> so you weren't scared of the. Well, Sean was scared like a normal person. Yeah. Uh,. Did you like, have you seen the new move, the movie adaptation outside of the, uh, drive-in that we saw it at? Yes. I saw it a second time in the theater. Okay. So I have it. So I don't really feel like I can judge it. I, it felt creepy. Uh, it is creepy, but not scary. Does that bother you? No, because I don't think I'm really scared by any movie anymore. No, it's too cool for school. Yeah. Well, no, because <laughs> I know how the fucking I know how they make they make that movie magic now. <laughs> you know how they make you that mo- movie sausage before before you thought maybe you were just looking at your own memories, but now you realize <laughs> oh, this is real. <laughs> this is just film. Uh. Yeah, I understand that because I just saw Hellraiser the other day, and I remember that being terrifying. And it is really kind of goobyish too. I, it's gross. Are those are those stink lines coming off of Richard Mazur's head? Yeah. Well, his his got a detached head. Yeah. But it's been in the fridge, so it's fresh, fresh Mazur head. <laughs> fresh Mazur head. Is not as good as Maze fresh, fresh Dennis Christopher head. Dennis Christopher plays the hypochondriac kid. He was also in a good movie called The Delicate Sound of Thunder about a Vietnam vet who tries to save Vietnam orphans. He was also in breaking away with Dennis Quaid. Quad. He's the, he's the star of breaking away, actually. Dennis Quad. Technically Dennis Quad's. Quad's monster. Dennis Quad's monster. Would you stop that? So. Um... You saw the new movie? Me? Yeah. No, I haven't seen the new I one I thought yet. you might have gone to a special premiere or something. No. Seems like everybody got to see it early. Yeah. So were clowns like legitimately just, oh, fun things before? Did, did Stephen King really like sell like clowns being scary? Maybe. Definitely to an entire generation. Because that's kind of impressive to do, like, with, like, the written word, you know? Um, I don't know if it was the written word. It may have been this miniseries that did it. Hmm. Hey, I'm having to do a lot of resizing on this drawing. Because of his head? Yeah, I keep making it kind of big. But now I got it. I got a good. I got a good clown now. Really should have drawn the insane clown posse. Insane clown posse. Well, I just know them better, you know. I mean, being a juggalo and <laughs> personally, and... magnets. Well, yeah. Hmm. How often do you go to the gathering? I have yet to go. What? Yeah, I gotta save up. 
some money, get a bus ticket. How are you going to be part of the family? Well, I'm sure, I, I'm sure they'll accept you no matter what. Yeah, that's their thing, right? Yeah, that's true. So wait, you guys weren't scared of aliens? Uh, the movie Aliens, yes. But not just like aliens. Uh, no, I was no. not scared of aliens because I didn't... Uh, Did you I... live near the woods or anything? <laughs> Everybody lived near the woods, yeah. unless you lived in a city. No, I know, but like, were you close to woods? Yeah. I was... I was more scared of people with axes and stuff mm. than I was of aliens. Axes. I didn't find... Yeah, like homicidal maniac. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying they didn't really occur to me as scary, I don't think. I was oh. way more scared of, like, natural disasters. Of, like, tornadoes or of my house burning down or something like that. What? Though, if I were, speaking of the woods, if I were, like, outside, like, at night, like, away from houses and stuff like that, like, out camping or whatever, like, that's scary. Just the being outside alone? Yeah, like, it's, a, it's, one, it's just, like, a real primal back of your head, just mm-hmm. like, oh, this isn't right kind of a thing that's what i really liked about uh the blair witch yeah Probably, oh we've talked about this haven't we i don't they, know if we have they, they really kind of captured that it, I, I felt like in the theater i felt like oh yes this is that you know like you know ostensibly like like everything should be fine but you've got that little lizard brain that's saying i'm unprotected you know what would have made blair witch scary hmm Clowns. 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 <laughs> uh, if Should have been the Blair Clown Project. Uh, spoilers to anybody who hasn't seen the Blair Witch. <laughs> <laughs> but if that guy turned around at the very end <laughs> and he was a clown, <gasps> I would have been super, super laughing and been... not scared oh at all. God. And it would have actually relieved a lot of the tension yeah. that that movie had it had, had built had up until that point. Like squeeze hearts or just like... Uh, uh. Yeah, just had a big old <laughs> nose and went... Uh, uh. I, and I just pissed my pants. Yeah, you, <laughs> you pissed your pants just thinking about it, didn't you? Oh, God. Why would you do this to me? I'm sorry. Well, you can think about that tonight when you go to bed. Sorry. Get out of my... I was scared of all... Mo- Oh, monsters, though. Like, Freddy, he fucked me up. Um, uh, Jason. Um, and I never saw these movies. I only saw trailers. I, w- I was scared of horror movies. How about that? Just horror movies. That may be why I watch them so much now. Is that now I feel like I'm prepared for them. My mom liked horror movies. And so they would, my parents didn't really care what I watched. So if it was on, they didn't say leave the room or anything. Mm -hmm. And I saw stuff that terrified me. Um, Also the movies. (laughs) No, I, uh, so. I see what you did there. um, But yeah, there was a lot of movies. That when they came out, I saw them and I was like, whoa, that's real scary. And then I've seen them recently, the Hellraiser being one of them. Also, I remember Nightmare on Elm Street 2 being terrifying to me. And that's one of the more goofy ones, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, all the nightmares are pretty silly. Yeah. I So, like, it really had to have, like, a weird, like, Poltergeist. It had to have, like, an otherworldly aspect to it. For me to be scared of it. Like the, really? the idea of a psycho killer was never scary to me. Well, see, this is something that like my mom would say that too, because if I, you asked her what her favorite horror movies were, mm-hmm. she's like, she doesn't like the supernatural stuff because that doesn't seem like it could happen. Hmm. But I was like, but Jason could. Yeah. Right. He's like, well, I guess. Yeah. If a guy in a, in a jumpsuit and a machete, I guess theoretically could happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so like the 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 nightmares on Elm Streets, the Friday the Thirteenth. I still to this day haven't seen any of the Halloween movies, but 
uh, yeah, those were, I mean, I liked them. I thought they were entertaining. I thought the whole Nightmare on Elm Street like concept was really cool. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't, I wasn't scared by them. Aliens, I, I was not at all scared of. And I actually saw Alien after it. And that one freaked me out. Yeah, Alien is a totally different animal. That's one of the ones that I saw that my mom or dad, were, they were watching. Mm-hmm. I walked in on my parents watching Alien. And <laughs> it was the very end part where um, she's like trying to get into the shuttle. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's in the wall. Oh, yeah. And I walked in on that part. And nightmares for... Probably the next 30 years. <laughs> Have you guys played that alien? What was that alien game? No, for the... fuck no. I'm not going to play Holy, that. Holy. I had to stop. I couldn't, like. But from everything I've heard about that game, that's all it is. Because they know that that's all that they can really give you with an alien game. Yeah, and that's all it should be. basically hiding from Well, it doesn't alien. matter. Like, there might not be, like, there, you might get to a certain stage and you just fall off a cliff or something. I don't know. Because I'll never <laughs> get there. Because I literally had to turn on all the lights and then run upstairs and wake up Pam and say, hold me. Have you ever played Dead Space? Yeah. Well, it's almost, it's pretty much the same thing. It's worse, isn't it? It was super close. Well, Dead Space, you didn't ever sneak. You know, you weren't like hiding behind things. That's right. You were going to fight it. Yeah. And I mean, I I thought Dead Space, the atmosphere of it was super creepy. And I, it was a little, Dead Space was way closer to, um, uh, oh God, what, Event Horizon. Yeah. Which I also found to be a very creepy movie um, that did actually scare me. Not so but, great. Like Dead Space, I can, I can, you know, jack myself up and, you know, fight Excuse through me? it. Uh, Alien was just like, it, it, it also was carrying with it all that baggage from, you know, a little 10 year old me seeing it or however old I was at the time that was. Uh, it was too much. How's it coming, John? I don't know. I'm too scared. <laughs> Did you stop <laughs> drawing it? <laughs> Did you get scared at any point in the new movie? Uh, no. So you're not scared of clowns anymore? Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> If I came in dressed as a clown, I'd punch you. <laughs> <laughs> Say, not today, clown. Not today. Not today. We. How, how did your Pennywise end up looking like Jack Nicholson? Does he? Yeah. Mm, I don't think he does. In, um,. Ann Arbor, we had this little area called Nichols Arcade. It was like an old little, like, old-timey uh, shop area. Mm-hmm. And um, next to it was a McDonald's. And that clown used to show up all the time. He was just hanging out there, and we'd go there all the time. Wait, like Ronald McDonald? Yeah. Yeah, you left out a clown information. <laughs> the number one clown. The number one. You have you have issues with Ronald McDonald. Yeah, <laughs> when he was in commercials all the time when we were yeah. kids, did that like how'd you feel about that? Not good. <laughs> I hated him. I'm sorry, man. I lived a very scary childhood. There aren't any Disney clowns, are there? Mm, sure. It's like Goofy, I guess, but clown. <laughs> worst clown. He's the worst clown. I am about to color and then I'll be done. My trying to come up with a good brush to color this with. You should use the maser brush. I'm just still very surprised no one was scared of clowns. I just, I feel kind of like I thought this would bring us together. 
<laughs> I'm and... sorry, but we're just much rougher, tougher guys than you. Also, how do you think that works exactly? That we just we sit here and commiserate over the things we're going to bond of? over our fear of clouds. Yeah, much like oh, the much yep. like the movie It. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I was super scared of? And you tell me, Sean, whether this was a clown or not. Maximilian from the Black Hole. He's not a clown. He's a robot. But he's a big red robot. <laughs> Is that a defining feature? Red? I don't know. He's a robot. He's not a clown at all. He's, he's red. He's got goofy feet. I've been scared of robots. There's, I've been scared of more robots than clowns. What clown bots? <laughs> robots not scary i fell asleep at the drive-thru with with went with my family when we were watching um the black you hole. guys were in the drive-thru so long that you fell asleep it was it was late <laughs> i was a kid it was well past my bedtime how long were you sitting in the drive-thru well like two hours or something at least you mean drive in <laughs> yes that's what i mean <laughs> I I see why you were yes at the at the drive in we <laughs> were paying for Ron McDonald to come out. And give us a get out of here to get the hell out of here <laughs> did you guys go to a lot of drive ins growing up I did uh, I think I saw my first movie there. Um, there was one in Selmer, Tennessee that we would go to. Yeah, and we had a uh, El Camino, and we put blankets and uh, pillows because me and my brother were little babies. And uh, saw Snow White there and some other movies. Can I, I remember? I only remember seeing Conan. Conan? Oh, that's a, that's a good drive-in. Yeah, I saw Conan at the drive-in. Wow. I saw Karate Kid at the drive-in. Wow. I saw Ratatouille at the drive-in. Wow. I was well, I well past my drive-in days when those movies came out. They shut down our drive-in and made it like a megaplex. Oh, I saw Jurassic Park at the drive-in. What? Really? That was cool. Yeah. They, they, so there was a local drive-in that I saw the ones with my family, but then later on, there's one in like Zanesville or something. That we would go to. And by that time, they let you, you know, you just tuned your radio to the station instead of having a little speaker. Yeah, that you yeah, put in the that's window. like they do now, yeah. And, of course, we all had, like, these crazy, you know, you know, subwoofers and everything in our cars. And so... I remember we, going home from IT, and we were still listening to the Assassin's Bodyguard on our radio station. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Was that movie scary? I don't know. Did it sound scary? Uh, no, it did not sound scary. It sounded like uh, Ryan Reynolds doing a lot of jokes. So scary. I don't know. It's so scary it's getting a sequel. It is? Yeah. Was it good? Mm, it did well. Did you watch it? Mm, we watched it for a little while and then we left. Yeah. <laughs> Richard Mazer. <laughs> this is podcast death. Would you like some <laughs> Mazer? Nobody wants to listen to our Richard Mazur podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry, Richard Mazur. I made your eyes blue. I don't know what color they are. I mean brown. I don't know what color they actually are. I think they are brown. I'm like, hey, you know what would be fun? Uh, let's do it. And you guys are like, nah, I'm Richard Mazur. <laughs> well, technically, I'm doing both. Eh, good old Richie Mazer. Richie May. Oh, you know what? He's got blue eyes. 
Son of a... I know, I steered you wrong there. If I don't get this particular detail right... It's the end. Hmm, this is weird, Mike, because you are scared of clown music. Uh... Music. That's a weird assertion. Is this true? I no. Music is way scarier to me than anything visual. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And it make I make up what's in my head when I see some when I hear something scary. Like clown music. Clown music definitely counts. Hmm. Um. Mr. Roboto by Styx. <laughs> what? That is a song about a robot. It is not scary music. What I'm learning is that, no, Josh is just that, scared of, cl- like, of robots. When it would come on the radio, I would have to run and hide. What? No, you did not. I did. You did not have to run and hide. I did. I, I, I did it all the time because it was a scary fucking song. It wasn't. You get through it. It was a little weird. It was a little synthy. It was okay, whatever. But then at the end there, you're like, oh, kill Roy. It's, kill Roy. He said his like, name Whoa. is Kill Roy. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Or do you, you that well no, even as a kid I knew he wasn't trying to kill Roy. <laughs> he was like a a Roy slasher. I love Roy <laughs> Slasher. <laughs> that's a scary song. It's just scary sounding, you know? And I was in kindergarten. Hmm. <sighs> I have lots of opinions on this. Because that song rules. <laughs> <laughs> I like it purely because it scares Josh. I do now. It doesn't scare me now. I love the song. Yeah. Mm, that's what you say. Mm, I don't think that's true. I'll put it on right now. No. I'll no. demonetize us all. No. No. Are you going to color those stripes individually? This costume is not easy. No. Don't worry. I have an idea. Here, I'll help you zoom in there. You don't get off of my computer! <laughs> I'm helping you see the lines. I hate you. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost glad done. the world knows why. <laughs> this is all this is all just a, a way for you to gather evidence <laughs> for the inevitable trial. <laughs> we can all agree though that Chucky is terrifying. What? Um, um like child's play? Um No, okay. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. This is it is not often I feel that like the what's what's the like a total of like six years between us or whatever a uh, generation gap yeah is really much of a uh impediment but really it turns well, out that's it's... funny because i feel like it all the time oh really <laughs> yes i feel like it's in our way all the time because i think most of you guys look at me like i'm a weirdo all the time well that's not because you're older <laughs> yeah it's... almost done over here I'm not. With my scary penny wise. Uh, you know what took me a long time to realize was mm. um, one time my grandma had this uh, uh, guy renting from her for a while. And he'd let me listen to his music every once in a while. And um, he really liked this band called Pennywise. I remember. I know them. And uh, I did not know it was... Uh, like the clown. Was it Pardon? clown music? It's cause they're named after the clown. Oh. oh, they are. Yeah, Pennywise the clown. Oh. It, Mister It himself. Okay. Okay. And that scared you? The name no, of the but band? No, it, it was an interesting thing to find out later. I didn't know that that's what they were. What did you think they were named? After? I don't know. I just thought it was a weird punk band. Here's the thing, Pennywise. Pound foolish. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Very true. Foolish? 
I don't think he knows what you're saying. <laughs> He's not down with the with the uh, aphorisms the, with the Ben Franklin. That's a Ben Franklin thing, right? Yeah, I think that sounds right. Let's 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 say that's true. He's not down with Ben Franklin's uh, teachings. His folksy, folksy homespun wisdom. Challenge. Oh, it doesn't say. Where are you at, Mike? I'm about done. Uh, I, I'll just say I'm done. I'm going to be done in two seconds. Because I got, uh, I have a plate to uh, color. What? But it. Oh. <laughs> I was. I'm sure it'll, it'll work fine without it. Man. Oh, without what? Without this plate color. It? <laughs> and I just gotta color some creepy spots on his face and mm, I'm gonna do a little quickie quick quick fun thing. Uh... I hope everybody liked our spooky, scary clowns. I'm scared. Are you? Yeah. You were just gonna, you were gonna be scared anyway. True. I ain't scared. Of no ghosts. Were you scared of Ghostbusters? Yes. You were? I knew it. I knew you were scared of Ghostbusters. I, I was literally scared of everything. <laughs> I was so scared. I was the scaredest child. Really? I saw I saw ghosts. I was scared of aliens. You're so chill, though. Do you, is that why you think? Yeah, I got all the scares out of me. <laughs> <laughs> he he excreted all the scare cheese. Once you get all the scares out, you're chill. Oh. That's my problem. Yeah, dude. Get all them sk spooks. Well, I'm trying. That's why I watch so many horror movies. Spooksies. That doesn't seem to be working. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. We Ooh, don't know yeah. where the expression came from, Mike. But it's, oh, Really? It's not a Ben Franklin? No, it's, it's 500 years old. Oh. And we know it came from England because of the pound bit. But. Oh, right. Well, I mean... Ben Franklin wasn't from here. No, no. I, I mean, I know, but I, it, it could still be. It could have been Ben, ben Franklin had it not been used f two, three hundred years before him. All right, I'm done. Um, are you? I finished that. Uh, Wait, you don't think I'm done? Okay. You. What about what about? The, oh, I guess it's a white rough. Yeah. All right. Don't you get critical. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and you did. You went and blew up his eyes. Good job. And I signed it. Oh, yeah. You signed this. Yeah, I got him. I, he, is, he is definitely... Wait, doesn't Pennywise have those things on his eyes, though? His eyes change, yeah. Oh, do they? Okay. Yeah, sometimes they're normal, though, in the TV series. No, I just mean like his face makeup. Does he have the little things? Okay. Oh, hold on. Ta-da! We can fix it. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, no, I suppose not. That's just like in the movie version. Oh, my God. You got a really dapper... It. He doesn't look scary. He looks like he's about to walk the runway. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! No, that's 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 spooky. Like you don't that. think if you saw a dude standing like that, just staring at you, <laughs> you'd be creeped out? I would definitely be. Scared. That's way scarier than being in like a scary position. I don't know. I'm pretty sure oh. if I saw the Michael Jackson thriller video, scary. Definitely scary. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. We, hey, we found something. We're all. <laughs> if you're literally name if, any if, movie scary. If your Pennywise was carrying Richard Mazur's head, 
<laughs> severed head, <laughs> then he would be totally scary. Top scary movie, E.T. Really? We had to leave twice. Wow. It was, it was uncomfortable. I did not like the dudes in the suits. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. And E.T., when he was like in the creek and all like kind of gray right. and peely. crinkly and looking like a clown. <gasps> he dresses <laughs> like a clown. No, we got to stop the show now. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know why you would, but as a favor to us, like and subscribe. Please. We won't draw any more clowns. For, more, for all your clown content. But we will draw. Also, make sure 200% to leave. Two hundred percent more Richard Mazur. <laughs> make sure I'm to leave. I'm only drawing Richard Mazur. <laughs> so no. Make sure you leave comments down below, and uh, if there's anything you'd like to draw, make sure you uh, include those. And as thank you for the Richard folks who Mazur. have left left comments with uh, suggestions already. We have filed them away. We are excited to do them. Richard Mazur. Yes, please leave more Richard Mazur comments. If Bye. you happen to be Richard Mazur, <laughs> feel free to. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a comment telling us what, what color your eyes are, in fact. <laughs>